We are playing Search and Destroy, ladies and gentlemen. It is MJRS23, or just MJ. Man, people have the hardest like time in the world pronouncing my name. I mean, either say it all out, which I know you're not going to do, so just call me MJ, guys. MJ. It's just that simple. MJ. 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 Okay. Yeah, so we're playing Search and Destroy on the stadium. Get slapped up. You thought you was going to kill me with that stake out. You thought you were going to. But it didn't happen, sir. No, it did not. Okay. Yeah, playing Search and Destroy on stadium. I'm using my itsy, teeny, weeny scorpion, which is, you know, I find that kind of funny. Modern Warfare 3, it's a, a secondary. And Black Ops, it is a primary. Which I think is pretty cool because, I mean, it gives you... I don't want to say more versatile guns, but this skewer, <laughs> that ballistic knife to the butt was versatile. But I don't want to say it gives you more versatile options because, I mean, it really comes down to the developer on what guns they choose to make secondary and primary. But guns like this as a primary, I think, are pretty cool. I, what I think they should do is, is that, uh, with like, job, no, yeah, because they have overkill. What I think they should do, let me explain it, is that, I think they should just like create a class, which I'm thinking they might do with Black Ops 2 if you guys watch my 10 point allocation video, link in the description. But I think that they should, okay, like say you're going to create your class, right? As soon as you boot up the game, you know, you got the stuff on the left, you know, find a match, private match, create a class, barracks, leaderboards, all that stuff. So you go to create a class, and as soon as you come into your class, you name your class, right? And then you have. You know, like all the little list things you have primary, secondary, and all everything else. But let's just focus on primary and secondary. I think that they should list all the guns. You know? None I, I mean that would take out overkill too. I don't even think was overkill in black ops? I can't really remember. I don't remember if overkill I don't think overkill was in black ops, yeah. But um that'd be pretty cool. I mean And then I guess they could put certain limitations on it. Like, uh, hmm, I don't know, but I, I think, I think it would, they would, they would need something to counter it, but if they would just, like, let you have complete control of your, like, creative class customizations, when I say that, I mean, like, the guns that you pick, that'd be pretty cool, I, I think, maybe, I don't know, I'm just spitballing, but, I go 15 and 2 with my teeny weeny scorpion, two deaths. I know it's kind of gross, kind of gross. Everybody likes flawless, but I do have a 15 and no vid up, and I think that was with, what was that? What was that with? Um, what gun was I using? And then, oh, oh, yo, with MPK5, and that is a very entertaining video, so go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it right now. Right now. No, actually, just stay. If you stay, then you're awesome. But, um,. Yeah, after this video, feel free to go watch it. But let's get to today's topic, because this video is kind of long. Just, I don't know why. Most search, well, most search games can last, they, they vary. I mean, like that one of Flawless video I was just talking about was like four minutes. It went by very fast for it to be a Flawless and for it to be such a high kill game as it was. And this game was a high kill game, but it just went by a little bit slower. They vary, like anything does. But today's topic, since we're playing Black Ops, <laughs> it just makes sense for the topic to be about Black Ops 2. <laughs> and we're covering two things. We're going to cover the PS Vista and Black Ops coming out on that, which is Black Ops Declassified. And we're going to go over the multiplayer reveal that we are, we are all waiting for when it comes to Black Ops. Now, I don't know about you guys. But when the multiplayer reveal drops for any Call of Duty, everybody gets, like, they go ape shit. They just go out of their mind. It's ridiculous. I remember when Modern Warfare 3, I remember the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, multiplayer reveal for Modern Warfare 3. I, I think it was the IMS, and somebody went past it, and it blew up or something like that. I forget. I forgot. I think it was the IMS or something like that. And I remember people just went crazy. They were going crazy for days. I think it... I think it showcased the FM, the FMG9 and the IMS, and people were just going crazy. So this this is gonna really like turn heads because apparently you know we've been saying this for 
for weeks, even like before the game, <laughs> even before we had details on the game, this is going to be the best Call of Duty ever to date. And from what David Vonderhart tells us over at Treyarch, that we will possibly, possibly be able to see some multiplayer revealing in eight weeks. And that is Humongo. Humongo. All right, so he tweets that. So many good questions, but inaccurate predictions in my timeline. Real answers can start to pour in about eight weeks from now. All right, so what does that tell us? That means that in eight weeks, we might be getting Black Ops 2 multiplayer details, okay? Eight weeks from now, eight weeks from now puts us somewhere between August 15th and 14th, and that's right next to GamesCon, and Treyarch has already stated that they're doing something big in Germany. Okay, now, with that being said, I don't know if you guys know or not, but... Call of Duty XP, COD XP, whatever you want to call it. I was planning on going this year before I went off to school, and they're not having it, which I think is a bummer. Well, that's what I'm told is that they're not having it. I know they're having an event in Germany, which I just stated, but man, Call of Duty XP was a it was a big event. Like, I don't see why they didn't do it. But then again, you know, the lawsuit between Motorola and Microsoft isn't fixed yet. Well, I don't think it is. I think they're still, you know, going through some things. And, um, you know, so that might have something to do with why it's not in the U.S. Because of Motorola and Microsoft and their lawsuit. But still, though, man, I mean, and then on top of that, Microsoft did put out a lot of cheddar to make sure that Modern Warfare 3 ran better on the Xbox and did other stuff on the Xbox and exclusive content, because you know, this time around, oh, picking up that kill with the AUG, this time around, everything will be coming out at the same time as far as DLC content goes, when PS3 gets it, Xbox gets it, all that good stuff, so, I mean, I guess, you know, there's pros and cons to not having it, but, they're not, so, <laughs> alright, keep in check of last year. On June 30th, Activision announced the reveal date for Modern Warfare 3, which will take place during COD XP, September 2nd. This means we would get a Black Ops multiplayer reveal two weeks earlier than Modern Warfare 3. Now, does that really mean anything? No, not really. But we're hoping for a more official announcement sometime soon on what we can, you know, plan to see and what we will be seeing. Now about the PS Vista. PS Vista, if you guys don't know, which you should know, but some of you guys don't know, and I don't blame you for that. Um, the PS Vista is a handheld from Sony, and it's like a... It's like a... Uh, like Wii U type thing. It's not... That's like the, the closest thing I can compare it to. Um, you can play on your PlayStation 3, and you're about to go out and see your girlfriend. You gotta walk two miles, and you don't want to put down the game. It's, um... It's the preseason. You just started your new Madden season. Put it on your PS Vista, and you keep on moving. You know, it's just that simple. And uh, Black Ops is coming out for that. It's it's um the title is Black Ops Declassified, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. And I don't know if you guys have ever owned owned um the Sony handheld, the PSP, the PS Vista, whatever. I used to have a PSP, and I loved it thoroughly. Um, I haven't really. You know, had a reason to buy a PS Vista. Maybe I will in the future. I know I will be purchasing a 3DS because I must play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> and uh, some more titles are coming to that, so I will definitely be picking it up. I hope you guys have liked and loved this commentary and my little scorpion. It loves you, it likes you, so like it if you like it. I know you do. I'm MJ, guys. This game is coming to a close here soon. Picking up even more kills. I'm a ripper. I'm a ripper stuff. And I take that last death. I had to get this game up out of theater mode because, you know, it was the last game of the night and I just wasn't feeling it no more. But then I was like, one more game, MJ, and ended up getting this game played. I had to share it with you guys. We get the win. 15-2 and two with the teeny weeny scorpion. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.